We're live. Time to begin the great paintage. It's right, running late, super running late. It's all late. Ahoy, ahoy. Welcome to. Welcome to what is this? Like painting wow. models, paint stream. Painting the older uh, guard. Or the um, the guard from. They're going to be dark tide guard, aren't they? Hmm. The darkest of tide. Oh, absolutely. All right. You sound quite quiet today. I don't know why you sound so quiet. Do I? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. Hmm. Weird. Say so something again? I'm speaking and saying things. Uh, well, I don't know, actually. You're probably about the same volume as me. Right. So. Here's one I like started going. Look at that. It looks like a complete and utter test model. <laughs> it's just like, uh But I didn't actually get time to finish it. I didn't get time to work on it very much at all. So we've got like one that's kind of got red on it. Nice. And a little bit of like the armor color on the helmet. And that's literally all I've done like beforehand because I'm like super organized. All right. So we're going to start off. The excitement of the colour, we're going to paint corn red. And then we get, when I, as I settle in, chat about how the wheat's going. Did I change my paint water? I didn't change my paint water. God damn it. All right, give me a sec. I just got to quickly change my paint water. Got coffee, didn't get paint water. Or did I get paint water and my cup's so dirty? Paint paint water cup is so dirty that it's actually made the, the cup super dirty or the water really dirty. I don't think so though. I don't think so. Right. Right, one down. Let's do this. So I've got to like, got to be quite organised. I'm going to try and get, I've got like, what? Two and a half hours. See how much we get paint in two and a half hours. Otherwise I'm going to have to put my own time in. I know. So what's gotten you so late today? Oh, just life, man. Life makes you late. Yeah, it does. Right. That's looking bright enough. I'm gonna use my big skilled skilled paintbrush for this as well. I've got like a, a, a really really horrible paintbrush. The likes of which of Huh? It's the best type of paintbrush. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this one's pretty bad. You know some people would like um base coat their models using like really nice brushes like you the smallest I, brush I, I don't base coat with that type of brush man I, I just slap it on yeah. I use I'm the using... biggest brush I can get away with well I've just uh, I've just brought the biggest brush ever well it's not the biggest brush ever that would be ridiculous but it's pretty damn big right is that the right paint yeah I did yeah I did use the right paint yes Oh my god, what's going on? What's going on, man? You're in a bit of a day. Oh, just like a nightmare. But I don't know what, no idea what's going on anymore. Lost it. So what we're doing is we're applying corn red in a generous fashion. It's actually quite thinned down. It's not actually, it's, it's thinned. There you go. 
what well, I like to describe it, it's thinned enough. You know, some people sure? like. Hmm? Are you sure it's thinned enough? Yeah, it always thinned enough. Some people do what? Hmm? You said some people do. Some people just like get super thin. It's like it's not over thin, it's just a nice level of thin. Thin enough to be covery, but not, you know, useless. Right. So these guys are going to be red, and then I did go and buy that paint you suggested, like the, the what is it, like the Vallejo model air black paint? Oh, what the black metallic? metallic. Yeah. Hey, nice paint, that man. Presumably, uh, you would say you would like put like, but like none oil over it to yep, darken that, it down, and then and then. Completely. Yeah, and then like put chips on it, chip it with a little yep. bit of your chosen metal, your whatever, lead voucher or some such. Yeah, or like iron hand steel, iron warriors, or whatever the hell you want to use. Really. Cool. That's what I was thinking. Boop -a -doo, boop -boo. Painting yeah, away. Nice of doing black, but actually making it look, you know, not just flat and boring. Yeah. Also, today we've got like what well, the music is brought to us by YouTube and their free YouTube library because <coughs> interesting tale of last week's paint stream, it got struck all all ways to Sunday by by like claims. So I um I made the executive decision. Our normal source of music can go get in the get in the bed. You're a bit higher, man. Ah. Oh, no, I'm just not looking. Uh, our normal source of paint can get in the bin, or our source of paint, our normal source of music can get in the bin, and we're trying a random selection of music from YouTube's free library. So I don't know who these people are, but they're, you know, on YouTube. Kindly generated their, or donated their music. We put it on backgrounds. Yep, lovely bit of open source music. Yeah, man. Right, this is the the bolt gun guy. Oh, nice. Because this is not a standard Imperial Guard um, kit. This is actually the standard Imperial Guard kit, but that's a Def Core of Krieg arm. That one there. And. And uh, a Death Coral Creek bolt bolt gun, which is weird because it's on the and that's Death Coral Creek Commando Squad. I can't remember how I did this. Mm? Troopers. Yeah, feel the love. I haven't painted the other custom one yet. No, not the other one. There's a couple more custom ones in here. Right, so we just need to like... I could have done this beforehand. Totally could have done this beforehand, but... Where's the fun in that? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the fun in being organised? Being organized. No, this is just a standard guard, but I figured this prank pose is pretty good. That I actually, you know, man, that I, I didn't actually comment to you about the kit when I built these. Oh, yeah, but my word, it's a lovely kit. Oh, what, the death core, oh, no, the, no, the, oh, the the new, um, yeah, the shock troopers, yeah, yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? It's such a good kit, and the models look so awesome. Yeah. I didn't realise how good these you these sure guys. Them, were you? I wasn't, but you know what? I happen yep. to say, I was wrong. Very wrong. They're absolutely awesome. Yeah, man. Um, this is just a standard one as well. Top hmm? chat. I was trying to go for uh, live chat. Not that it's. That's nice, yeah. they popping off. You're not gonna, you're gonna keep up. Yeah, man. 
your 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 speed you like to go at. So the older the older yeah, but these are absolutely lovely. Yeah, it's like oh, I actually if these weren't gifts, well, like if these weren't for members' prizes, I'd be like, I'm having that. I was almost like maybe the members don't need a painted <laughs> models. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe they could just have bits of stick or something. What? You always get yourself some. I could do. Maybe, maybe they'd be happy with just some kind of, you know, sticks or something. This is okay. this is uh. Yeah, just. To be honest, one of my uh, go-to ideas was I was just going to give people a pet rock. Pet rock. Yep. I was actually just going to go out in the garden, find a rock, and draw a face on it and send it. Well, who knows? Spoiler alerts for the gifts. This <laughs> is the gifts. It's going to be some twigs and sticks. So become a member. Have um, have random stuff in our garden posted to you. <laughs> these are lovely models though these are lovely models I, also I really like the new imperial guard stuff also it's going to look cool in this color this color scheme yeah this this color scheme is going to look absolutely amazing i i and i know that because i've painted none of the models in that color scheme so far yeah well i've played the computer game i know what people look like Also, these ones are all kind of done like apart from the um, apart from the comms guy, yeah. all of the other ones have got like loadouts from. So there's no weapons that are unavailable inside Dark Tide apart from the comms guy. But I figured doing a comms pack was suitably cool anyway. I mean, there's, the, there's a comms pack you can get in Dark Tide, a little backpack. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, I subconsciously did it right then. Uh, that just proves I don't watch your fashion tie videos. Nah. Oh, I don't think you did anyway. <laughs> Farming is very chill in this uh, game, man. All right. Do you need some sort of characters on not farming? Yeah, the farming um, NPC. Oh, makes a lot of sense. Oh. And this is the um, my completely custom model. This is the completely custom guy. So. This model doesn't exist. This is the sergeant kit. And I completely, this has got like a Death Corps of Krieg arm on it. Mm. Uh, yeah, actually it's got a Death Corps of Krieg arm on it and it's actually flipped backwards. So I chopped it off at the, um, chopped it off at the here because you can make a left arm or right arm, I found. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah, and I just chopped that off. As you can see, he's a Death Corps Creed sergeant guy because that's what I wanted. So, and he's got a chainsaw. Unfortunately, he's the only guy with a chainsaw. I tried to include another chainsaw, but I was like, oh, this is far too annoying to do. So there is but one chainsaw guy. We're not sure what order we're giving these guys out, out because I'm going to give them all out in a single go because... Blimey. I've spent ages painting these. Also, we're not made of Imperial Guard, to be honest. Oh, hi, Wonder. Hi, dude. How you doing? Oh, yeah, I was I was perusing over the um, the the members' Discord. Yeah. And I was I was sort of having a mull over. A tense question about the the wood and 
Yeah. What colour? I, th I think um, a nice mahogany with some autumn colours would look really good on that. You do like mahogany? Yeah, it's like, but it's because I was looking at um, like spring colours and the, the wood colour would be very khaki and it'd probably be like oak or ash and it's just a bit washed out really. He's kind of got it by the, 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 the butt. Is this a turn of paint stream time? Yeah, yeah, it's a new surprise paint stream time. No, it's late again. I'm late. I should really get that updated. I'm a terrible human being. Uh, yeah, man. You do like a mahogany. It would look good, though. Mahogany's quite a nice colour to paint, though, isn't it? Because you can, like... It's, it's it's deep and rich. That's why I like it, man. You yeah. Can a lot of depth into a mahogany colour. Yeah. Um, but like I say, my 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 contemplation. I want someone to paint like rainbow eucalyptus. Because oh, I reckon that is beautiful. I would. I reckon if someone could do like, well, I can't do it. I can't do it. I've I've had to think about it and I would like oh, I'd love a ray, rainbow eucalyptus like dryad army in like Age of Sigma I mean I don't think it would actually be as bad as you think it is man you'd no? start off you'd, okay so you'd start off with say what Wazdaka red as a base a heavy dry brush with a dark brown and then spot highlights with, with a moot green maybe yeah I don't know yeah be, but you couldn't use moot green like on that though could you because you'd have to like you'd have to base cut it wouldn't you because otherwise it wouldn't be bright you'd have a nightmare or you do it with contrast colours oh, so you, you base with red dry brush brown and then you pick out the streaks you want in a white or a cream. Oh, yeah. Dye the cream colour like an acid green. Point. Right, I think metal next. Get the metal. So, the armour plates are going to be painted. This Vallejo model there. Metallic black. Zug suggestion. I think that's the one. Oh, it's probably just a new, a new bottle. My one's old. Yeah, man. This is like I've not seen a Vallejo bottle like this before. It's just new. They got like, yeah. No um, agitator in there, but that's what I say for the army painter models, man. Do you know they come with like agitators inside? What, the army painter paints? Yeah. Oh, they didn't used to. No. Uh, the problem is, you'd have to do very thin lines and wait for it to dry each time. Bleeding would ruin the effect. Yeah, it would. Or you'd do it with an airbrush. But I, I, I still say it, that's cheating. I think airbrush is cheating, man. It is cheating. <laughs> no, I just don't like using airbrush, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, it goes on super shiny, but you, you just whack on um, some null oil, and if you really want to get it down even more, some um, clear coat, like... Uh, Lamy and medium or something. Okay. And that, take, that takes the shine off of it, but it still adds depth. So the helmets panels on the front and the shoulders are going to be done in this. Maybe the knees as well. The bleeding knees. Knees and toes, knees and toes. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah it's all about how can you get the best effect with the least amount of effort
Right. First one's done. Hopefully a bit of that. Hold on. I'm going to drive everyone insane listening to the same music over and over again. Yeah. Hold on. Right. Add a folder. Yeah, I can't hear it. Huh? I said, luckily, I can't hear it. <laughs> yeah. How do I make it like. Don't repeat. Repeat off. Right. Go to the next track. Ah, we're cold forever. Oh dear. Oh, not very good. Ugh, sad. Ugh, sad. Ugh, messed it up. Hold on. Go find it. Right. You know. All the best plans, it's like the plans of mice and men, you know what they say? Um, mice are small, their plans are usually rubbish. No, that's not what they say. Well, they should. Oh, somebody got very angry about my bow video last night. Yeah? Yeah. Had to remove their comment, it was just vitriol. They say. Well, I said this is the best bow in the early game. It's the one you want to try and get as soon as you can for a ranger. Mm. Sure, it's not the best bow. My bow's way better. It's like, yeah, dude. I said in the early game. I didn't say. <laughs> I didn't say it was like the best bow in the world. You'll never need another bow. I said early game. If you're just starting out and you're only like level ten, you can go grab this bow and it will help you through to like the higher level stuff. Yeah, and then I was just like, you know what? This is this is my our YouTube channel. I'm not having this. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Uh, yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. people are gonna be people are gonna be like again. It was incredibly just not what I'm used to seeing on here, man. It's like I have no problem with somebody going. Actually, you're wrong. This is like I was like, oh, okay. I actually love it when people go, there's actually a better way to do it. I'll be like, awesome, because that means I get to make another video. But if you're just going to be a very unpleasant person, I'm not going to take that kind of rubbish. Yeah, I mean, you can politely disagree, can't you? That's the point. Yeah. I'm more than happy for people to politely disagree with me, man, or just disagree with me. Yeah, you could disagree. Um, but again, you know, and you know, you can criticize and point things out. We've got no problem with that. Oh, but yeah, you're gonna if be I'm, rude. If I'm doing something wrong, please do point it out. Because that way we I'll be all send you an email later on. Yep. But no, it's, it's the, the thing, the crazy thing about broadside gaming is that it's a, it's not a democracy. <laughs> like um I actually appreciate the the guy who he commented saying my video wasn't really for him. I was like a bit weird, but okay, you know, my video is not gonna be for everyone. He wanted a more in-depth kind of step by step guide and I did a brief overview. That's totally fine. My video wasn't what he was looking for. I appreciate him taking the time to comment. Yeah. That's, like, still, that's the way you do it. Yeah, it's, I still thought it was a little bit weird, but I was like, okay, you know, fair enough. Bit of interaction. But the, the funny thing is, like, enshroud has been out for like three days. I'm not going to be an expert in it just yet. What? You've had three days? I know, man. Yeah, and also, uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, but there's engagement and then there's just viewing vile vitriol. Yeah. 
Yeah. And also, you know, I, I, I'm not afraid to not afraid to admit we we do can comments that are too nasty or unpleasant. Yep, I'm not letting the uh, the comment section turn into a, a Facebook argument. I'm really not a fan of well unmoderated things. Nope, people can't be trusted. <laughs> I suppose you didn't stream yesterday. Yeah, why weren't you streaming yesterday, young? Actually, I am quite surprised. Oh, I was absolutely knackered, man. Oh, yeah. Me too. I I almost did. I was like, you know what? I kind of want to, but I was just like, I'm so tired. Can't stream all the time. <laughs> we would do. Yeah. If I could stream every day, I would. Yeah, to be honest, I probably would stream every single day. Damn thing called life. Damn life ruined everything. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for that damn life. Damn pesky kids. Yeah, you need to put out guide videos. Yeah. Wanderers, I don't care not for your stupid guide videos. Well, I'll make them just for you, Wanderer. <laughs> I did put out a lot of guide videos yesterday. Like, like what is I know where to get my twigs. God damn you. Pick them up off the ground. Like every good man does. Everyone likes twigs. Oh. What? I, I broke a hole in something and fell for it. Yeah, but it's it, uh, it's it's just different, man. It's like I was up late, and I was mostly just sort of slumping in my chair, just listlessly sitting there, and every now and again making a thirty-second video. Hmm. We're getting there. Let's <laughs> listen to him snore. <sighs> oh yeah, that, that oh, I almost did on that really late one. I was just I, you could tell in the last sort of like forty five minutes I was slowly just passing out. <laughs> That's where you just do that as an ASMR sleep track. It's like, sleep with me. It's brave. <laughs> no, because then you just start hearing like PTSD screaming in the background. Oh. <laughs> the snoring and then the screams begin.
Man, if you could do that, that'd be great because uh, we could like sell it to like a news thing, and it'd be like. But listen to a streamer thing. screams in his sleep as viewers watch all in horror. <laughs> First-hand views of the sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> I don't think that would be enjoyable for anyone. <laughs> I don't know. Was it Rule 34? Oh, yeah. Probably someone who really enjoys it. An unhealthy amount of enjoyment from it. There's always some out there, Zug, who's loving it. Yeah, yeah, there always is. So aside from these, I actually haven't managed to put paint to a brush all week. That's all I've done this week is these, and I haven't done very much of those either. much of anything this week my, my trick with doing these live streams is that I just like forget to turn discord off so I'll come back like I'll come back like seven eight hours later and Zug will just be sitting there and it'll be like all right I'll be like, oh, shit <laughs> Oops. Oh. Uh, oh well what else? <laughs> at least it wasn't me this time yeah, yeah, but it'll be like scare the bejesus out of me. Was it last Sunday I did that? Yeah. I just assumed you're on Discord. It's popped so Oh, there's hug. What? Yeah, but what the previous like three hours where you'd be like, "All right, you're just ignoring me." <laughs> I don't think I, I. I probably didn't even realise it was on as well. So these will be the prizes for the raffle eventually. So like I say, I've got to do a moderately good job, otherwise like people will be like, what have you done? Hit us with their hands and their fists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, cool, a nice model. It looks like um, something out of um, League of Legends or so. Yeah, I know. I know League of Legends things. Is it Crank? It looks like a it looks like a, a like a, a wooden version of crank like the head it's gonna be the whole thing it's just all let's just go painting let's do painting all of it I did see someone making a comment and made the comment and I was like couldn't fundamentally disagree with what they said harder they said oh slap chop is good enough uh, is it though it's a means to an end slap chop I guess it's a means to an end if you can't paint oh, you like can't layers paint. and stuff Or don't want to put any more like a massive amount of effort into it then I guess that works because some people like models that look all right don't know they like models that look all right and um, don't take long to produce but that is uh that's where slap chop comes in doesn't it well 
go back to what um, Frost was saying, Tent chose a cool model. That, that's kind of why I really like the, the members' Discord, because that's what it's there for. A bit of community collaboration and all that sort of thing. It's like having a WoW guild, but without any of the WoW. Yeah. It's nice, that. WoW guild without the WoW. Yeah. WoW. The WoW? Right. It's the first lock done. Right. Next. Trousers. Right. Um, trousers going to be grey. That's the colour of um, dark tied trousers, isn't it? Basically, grey. No, they're red, man. Some are grey. Yeah, some are grey. If you want to do them grey, go for grey. I'm, uh, the reason I'm doing them grey. I'll do something right now. Oh. Do you, man? Do it me how you want. Uh, I just want a bit of contrast, that's all. Yeah. That's a good, like... Yeah. Well, yeah, people, same. take away WoW and... Well, people, they like WoW. Yeah, <laughs> they love WoW. So this is going to be Mechanicus Standard Grey. Blimey, got the fan on. Makes it cold. I mean, it's the idea. Only because I wanted a little bit of colour variant on this, that's all. Yeah, the non loyal wall will take care of that shine. Yeah. But we are like having quite a good weekend for the old channel. Yeah. Going well. For a change. Well, yeah, man. It makes a nice change from just stagnating. <laughs> YouTube's typical stagnating stance. Right. Ahoy, Ted. Hey, dude. dude. Ahoy, ahoy. I should really do when I do this. I should like blue. I should get like a bit of green paper or something and set up a green screen background, shouldn't I? Mm. And then have like images dark type playing in the background. Oh, that'd be cool. As I paint dark type models. I don't think we have the technology. But we do. <laughs> what we don't have is the willingness to do it. No, that's the problem. Hot tub streams. No one wants to see that. Well, if you buy me a hot tub, I might do. I could, I'd imagine it's like, um, if you ever see the like, Videos of like bears playing with swings. 
be. You're not wrong. You in a hot tub, that's what it would be like. Bear frolicking around, yeah, pretty much. And I'll probably get my head stuck in a jar at some point. Yeah, the the like to dislike ratio is not bad. Although they, they really don't like my where to find water video apparently. No. No, apparently that's uh no. No bueno. Like no bueno. It's like, but that's where you find water. In Is wells. it in wells? In wells and breaking things. There's no water in the world. No. I mean, I suppose that's a choice. Yeah. Well, there's the farming setup. I'll probably do a little video on that later. Yeah, what sort of model is that? Is that just like a random STL or something? Tent. Ah, you see, at that point, wondering, uh, I didn't know you could build one. But, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty and all that. That's the problem with very early guides. As more information becomes available, some of the early information becomes uh, incorrect. Can't learn. There'll be no learning. I must have all the information immediately. There will be no learning. That's probably the dislike ratio come from there, lack of whale tech. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you can always do the comprehensive water guide, Mark II. Oh, yeah, water probably. Boogaloo. So they're not going to be completely accurate to the game. Because well, then what's the point? What's the point? They're basically guard with red coats on. I mean, that's in essence what the dark type people are: guards with red coats on. So, you know, you were saying the other day um, it'd be cool if we could actually craft from boxes. You yeah, can. you can. Yeah, you just need to make magical boxes. Oh, man. 
But it's cool that you actually can do, though. Yeah. I oh, know. It's just like, who would have thunk it? You need a magical box. This is a magical box. It's box magic. Box magic. I was thinking these uh these like new shock troops, they're kind of they're rocking like the very World War One and Two, aren't they? Or very World War they've got World War bits of World War One on them. Yeah. Just like the boots are like very World War One boots, aren't they? Yeah, I think that's why I like them. They're they're very oh, I don't know, I'm just trying to think of the word. True, not true to life, but you know. They got some nice little elements, design elements that I kind of ugh, whatever. They got some nice little design elements that are quite cool looking, because I don't think the other ones. I don't think the old Imperial Guard had like. I certainly know he didn't have knee pads. That's the one. I'm over that. I'm over it. Yeah, you really didn't like the uh, the knee pad style, who did you? Yeah. Um. See, I'm. The more I look into Power World, the more I find it just a bit creepy. Creepy? It's just, it, it's just like, if if the the dodgy side of Deviant Art got hold of the Pokemon IP. Hmm. Yeah, they definitely. Uh... I definitely Jared's got the boots. This is a completely legitimate one. I've changed the boots, look. This guy clearly works normal guard. Nothing suspicious about this chap at all. Nothing whatsoever. In your mind. <laughs> um, they're more motley than uniformed. Yeah, kind of. But also, you got to bear in mind, um, they're, they're also like the Imperial Guard who live on the station as well, which is kind of yeah, they're either that or the, the you know, they're the ones that are actually in the employ of the uh, Inquisitor, like his personal retinue sort of thing. Yeah, so. It's kind of like Dark Tide adjacent. There you go. By the time they're done, you'll be like, yeah, these are clearly going to be Dark Tide. You know, inspired by Dark Tide. See, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with Enshrouded because the survival part of it isn't just wildly punishing. It's like, yeah, you'll die and you'll die a lot, but it doesn't just like screw you over when you die. Being screwed over when you die. No, all well, like in in Valheim, man. When you die, you oh. lose like skill points. Yeah. Or 
in Raft, when you die, you just lose everything you're carrying and there's no way of getting it back. <laughs> yeah. In this, it's just like, yeah, you died, but you can just go back and get your body. And also when you die, if you die in somewhere like in a really annoying sort of place, they move your body to like the closest safe point so you can retrieve it. I mean, that's the sort of thing I feel like maybe they could like, if people wanted a more hardcore experience, you know. They could make they it could, an option. So they could make it an optional, yeah, an optional thing. What, like permadeath? <laughs> yeah, permadeath. I think they might, I don't know if they could do probably permadeath on. I would put permadeath on the, when you accidentally step off a ridge that's like a centimetre too yeah. high and end up snapping your knees. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I, I forgot that the um, the Nintendo fanboys would be emailing them continuously. Go, they're touching our things. You can use the unstuck button. Yes. It doesn't work all the time, though. No. No, it's it. I think I just got extremely lucky when that happened. Right. Right. Next stop. Metal number two. The only thing about these models is they got a lot of um, different billy bits on them. Mm. So. Gonna be a little while. Right. Gun metal from Vallejo. I did. I was on the raft. As, as that's my place. I love it on the raft. It's nice and safe. Yeah, it is. Unless you get hit by a bird. Oh, yeah. Damn birds. And it's slightly less safe. Hey, yeah. to pick out some other things. Stunt. The goal is to get them to the point where we can give them a wash. Well, you know, the goal is to finish. Like all things Dark Tide, or like all team, all things live stream. My goal is to finish him. Finish him. Finish him. That's a pretty reasonable goal. Yeah. You know me, don't hang around. Nope. Like a shark. You know? Right. 
like a shark, constantly in motion. I thought that was a fallacy. Um, I think it is for the most part. No, they have to move for the most part, apparently. But there are certain places where they they can sit in oxygen rich environments, I think. Oh, okay. So there's enough oxygen going over their gills that they can actually breathe just while they're lying down. But on the whole, most of them swim all the time. Because they're like massively enthusiastic. They absolutely love swimming. Daddy loves swimming, they do. I've got like a Christmas, someone bought me like the track of a shark. Oh, nice. Yeah, so now I'm, I've am i got a shark that I track around the sea. But Mia, huh. she's a, a, I think a blue hammerhead. And she's just skittering around off the coast of America for like the last two months. She's like a, a female blue hammerhead. Pretty cool. And she's like really young. But she's like nine, nine meters long or something like that. Jesus. Oh, no, nine not meters. mine. No, maybe not nine meters. Nine feet. That's a nine little feet. bit less long. <laughs> nine meters. Yeah, and she's feet, starring man. in a Steven Spielberg film at the moment. No. Uh, nine meters. She's a monster. And she's hunting. No. No, she's a... But she's a... Yeah, she, there you go. And she was released pregnant as well. Yeah. It's like a sponsorship thing where you give them money and then they like, I don't know, track them. A super bird carrying two rocks to... No, not nine, no, not nine meters. No feet. Right. You make one little mistake and you cause panic. Yep. Panic, mass panic. The channel panics. It's like no. Hmm. I'm already in mass panic. Yeah, Zug's got onto his boat. He's out. I'll catch his shark. God, and I'll skin him. Open water, man. I'll skin him as well. Yeah, not, big, not an, a boat fan. No, it's it's not boats I've got a problem with, man. It's the drowning. It's not even that. I was just trying, I'm trying to vocalize what it is. It's it's the deep unknowable. The deep. Yeah. It's like the existential. So dread we're gonna of we're gonna hope they put Subnautica put a co-op mode in or play Subnautica. <sighs> we'll play Subnautica. Doesn't bother me in games. Has it got a co-op mode? No. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Subnautica is like one of those ones where it's like, oh, make it stop. Why? Because it's terrifying. Oh, okay. Pick me sharks. Sharks are pretty cool in general. They're one of those uh, lazy, unevolving creatures, aren't they? Like crabs. No, no, crabs are the opposite of unevolving. Because it's like everything's becoming crab. Oh, uh, okay. All is crab. Figure out where to find tin. Grenade for anger.
So it's in the umbral hollow somewhere, okay. We've all been to the umbral hollow. Horror? Website's awful. We've got... Hmm? Oh, the website I was looking at was awful. It had adverts that just covered up the actual thing you were trying to read. Oh, yeah. My favourite kind of websites. It's like when you go there, it's like, tread carefully for here be adverts. ones that pop adverts on top of adverts on top of adverts you're like no make it stop right keep an eye out for the old aha grenades right That's how you can multiply mm -hmm. them once of Nautica, but it's a broken, janky mess. That doesn't sound fun. Oh no. I don't think I even own Subnautica. No, I, don't I got think it. I, do. I got it on Epic. Like Subnautica was the first game they gave away on the Epic store for free. Oh, that's cool. And then and then they took it away. I just oh, came that, back one day and it, it was gone. It was like, oh. That's less cool. Yeah, it's like, cheers. Cheers, Epic Store. <sighs> oh, benevolent ruler. He gives and takes. He giveth with one hand and he taketh us away with the other. The line is the Epic Web Store. Chainsword will not stay metal coloured. Although I tend to just snaffle lots of free stuff off on the, the, the uh, Epic Store. Just to try stuff. It's weird they take the stuff away though. Um, it's the only thing I've ever taken away. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, odd. Very odd. Um, yeah, it was odd. I was like, why you take it from me? The only thing that's ever vanished. But you know, I think it was just the benevolence of the epic gods. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Three more to go, and we've done the silver, and then we're moving on to um, leathery bits. Leathery, leathery whip. 
But yeah. I suddenly realised they gave it to me for free. I would have made it. I would have kicked up a fuss if they hadn't given it to me for free. Go. I'm being really lazy with this, so you can drop more um, like flame points to build houses around. I'm just dropping them as like teleport locations and not building anything on them. <gasps> Monster. Yeah. Well, they don't get damaged or anything, so it's just like eh, I've got one house. I reckon I could do some like base defense type elements in that game. That would be cool. You know where your base gets attacked. Yeah. I reckon there should be like shroud surges or something like that. Where like the shroud comes in and you have to like. I don't know. Yeah. That'd be quite cool. Skit around in your base. Good, good, good. Right. Yeah, like Valheim. Yeah, where well you have like... The wildlife yeah. becomes angry. Yeah. Angry Shroud. They'll probably add that in later on. Right. Leather time. So the leather. We're going to go with standard leather formula number one. find it Zug because it is punishing you I'm very disorganized damn my organization up oh, I've got it okay going for right outside for the delivery bits right And that's going to include all the straps and the bags and the boots and all sorts of things. Oh, that reminds me. Cool. Right. 
I don't know. I just, I just think it would be cool. Chat is jankier than normal. Oh, I'm on top chat still as well. God top chat. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. I think my, my chat is like completely nonchalant about what happens. Like, I don't care what happens. Right. Boot, and we'll worry about if there's any variant on that later on. We'll worry about it now. No. They're getting there. It's all a bit shady at the moment, don't worry. It will get sorted. Need a lovely wash. Yep. No, I don't see any auto moldage. You'll see any moderation there, Zug? No. No. Blimey.
Ouais. Down there, down there, down there, and that little pack in there. <laughs> and Q Jank. Oops. Oh, he's got a couple of grenades on his sack magic. Oh, well, we can paint that in later on. Oh, there we go. There's the, the Highlands uh, Spire done. Chat always does seem to go after wandering, though. <laughs> I don't know why. It just, it just has a, it takes umbrage with him. Angry. Oh, I forgot that. I forgot to paint the boots on these. I'll tell you what I should Before. do. Yeah. You Got a plan. It for everyone. Got a plan. It's a cunning plan. Yeah, I'm just going to paint all the boots. I was just gonna forget. Fair. It's been ages since I've painted a whole squad of things. Many moons since I've painted just a squad. Actually, I painted a bunch of zombies. I suppose it doesn't be that long. How long ago were the zombies? It was what? A month? A month? Yeah man, it's been a while since I painted the old graveyard people, because you think I did the zombies and I did the, the cart. Oh, yeah. This dragon. The cart that we shall not speak its name. And the horses. The old clippity clops. Yeah. Are you going to get any of the um, old world stuff? I don't know. I'm moderately tempted by Britonia. I do like. Oh no. Can't imagine the abuse if I got if I painted those on the live stream. to say anything no one's allowed to say anything YouTube where you're not allowed to say anything nope. people just sit quietly actually the problem with the live streams is they don't get flagged for not being suitable they just get flagged for copyright normally 
So yeah. hopefully that won't be the problem today. Oh, I figured out what what they were doing with the uh, the dark tide streams. Yeah. It was the the um. What was the name of the patch? You reckon? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe. I will not speak its name, but uh, I think that's what was doing it. No, you're allowed to talk about clippity clops. Everyone loves a good clippity clop. No, I'll just get abused if I paint like Bretonian horsemen on a stream. <laughs> you know. The best anti-siege equipment ever invented by oh, humanity. Yeah. Plants to plant. I guess they use like AI to do this stuff. There's not much I in the A uh, in the IA, is there? I don't know what you mean. There's not much intelligence in their artificial intelligence. Oh, what for the YouTube? Yeah, with the flag in the YouTube's. Maybe yeah. they don't use AI. Maybe they just use lists of words. You know what I mean? It's not like yeah. it. Well, maybe it's just not very smart. I think I'd... DI. D dumb intelligence. Right. Um, work is intended. <laughs> the blizzard. You, you never go full blizzard. You see about blizzard. Done this Let's talk news. No, they've like they've had a massive old firing, haven't they? They fired like really? yeah, because apparently they were working on some sort of like survival survival game for six years, and it turned out to be what rubbish. Um, no, it just got canned. Oh, got canned when Microsoft took over. Oh, why they did they say why or yeah they didn't say why but i think asma gold said a good, made a good point about it i was watching a video of his and he was basically saying if it's taken blizzard six years to write a survival game and power world took what three years that's probably the reason why i got can was a, a bloated corpse of nothing. Well, the, if you can't dev stuff quick, and there's one thing Blizzard doesn't do. Anything quickly. Do anything quickly, does it? <sighs> nope. They're not exactly um, super agile, are they? No. For like... like monolithically slow they shouldn't really call themselves blizzard anymore they should just call themselves glacier it's cold <laughs> it's cold and slow yep yeah, that's the point isn't it 
I think no. I should clip it from my perspective. So, is does it look like uh, Microsoft's going to like shake up Warcraft, or are they just going to cut the losses and run? Do you think? I mean, is it even worth saving anymore? But the thing about it is. Really, you take you take Warcraft out of Blizzard, and what have they got? <sighs> Diablo Immortal. Everyone's got a phone, don't they? Yeah. But you take you know Blizzard or like Wales, the only thing that they actually make that is any good anymore, and even then, mm. you know what I mean? It's like. Because apparently, you know, this latest one's supposed to be quite good. Like the new expansion. What? Dragon, whatever. Like, yeah, apparently it's supposed to be all right. Oh, that's a shame. People aren't complaining about it, you know, bitterly. Allegedly. But apparently it's catering to uh, a certain sort of demographic of people, apparently. What, a casual player? No. I don't know. Apparently the storyline's gone a little bit weird. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's somewhat straying away from its roots. But I wouldn't know. I've not played it. Nope. Just, it, I got burnt out of it, man. Stopped caring. Yeah. There we do, yeah. You know. All right. I agree with the the first two. I'm not so sure about the last one. Hey, I agree with um, more monetization, lowered quality. Don't agree with um, faster turnaround. No, <laughs> they're not fast, man. <laughs> Blizzard. Like the amount of times they've almost killed the game because they delayed a patch by months and just left people hanging. It's like, yeah. No, they can't be accused of going fast. It's like too much content. It's like said nobody ever about World of Warcraft. Oh no, how do I hold all this much content? <laughs> how do you keep up with the massively slow trickle of content? Where they're like, it was at least three or four times they almost killed the game by doing that. Yeah. At least us round. never must never forget the one with the dragon on the dragon's back. That one. Oh, the Deathwing Dragon Soul fight. Never forget Dragon Wing or Dragon Soul. <laughs> never forgive Dragon Soul. What's that? You wanted a guild after this? No, you didn't want a guild, did you? Oh, you're trying to hold a guild together through like two years of content drought? Well, that sounds like a you problem to me. Engage with your people more. It's like, there's nothing to do. Like, there's only so many times you can say, oh, let's go do a classic raid. And they're like, no. You can do that maybe once or twice before the, all the goodwill is gone. <laughs> so you've got maybe a week's worth of goodwill saying let's do a classic raid. A classic raid? And we got ridiculous. We were like doing naked runs, weren't we? Yeah, we were doing naked carousel runs. <laughs> naked carousel runs. 
where we were just like dolling out loot as we went. Yep, you could only wear what you found. Yeah. <laughs> People like fighting over like swords and getting angry at the casters. Like you don't need a weapon. Find another game. Yeah. Though, no. though, no, the best way to play. No, though, no, you see that, that, right? Frost. See? Look, I give you the finger of knowledge here, right? That's a beautiful concept. That's a brilliant idea. That would work if people who play well played other games. Which they don't. Oh, which they don't. And you're like, we can play something else. And they're like, but it's not well. It's like, but you're really bored playing well. It's like, yeah, but not well. I didn't give you the finger finger. I gave you, the, this isn't the fingery finger. That That's the fingery finger, which I'm not giving you. Yeah. Oh, aha, I don't, I don't know the meme. Yeah. I'm well aware of this meme. But yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the, therein lies the rub, as old Will Shakespeare would say. We played other games that just nobody else would come and join us. Yeah, it's literally, it's like we're playing other games, guys, you could work up, no, you're just playing, you're just gonna sit and play them well, okay. Like, right. We're playing Planetside 2, and we're playing like Payday 2, and we're playing like Diablo or Grim Dawn or anything, and it's like, nope. Yeah, we're like playing playing outside too. It's like I can't afford that. It's it's free. I can't download that. It's like okay. I guess we won't do that then. Yeah, so we're gonna play free games. You just, just play. It's like, no! And then people would get annoyed going, oh, it's always the same people doing stuff. It's like, yeah, because they come and do stuff with us. Or, or the other thing is people would be like, let's go play this other MMO. It's like, no, that's not going to work either. <laughs> you're just trading out one MMO for another one. It's like, let's experience other games. Let's play yeah. some like Left 4 Dead 2 or something, or let's go do, you know, anything. Variety is the spice of life, you know. No, that's wrong. Pepper is the spice of life. Don't no, trust in pepper and tell me I'm wrong. I don't like pepper. Think we could be friends anymore. Oh well, we had a good run. It was into the channel, man. Into the channel. Oh well, no man. Like I said, we had a good run. Yeah, man. Or is it that you don't like Peppa, or does Peppa not like you? Peppa probably doesn't like me. Yeah, it's I don't more... like Aniseed either. You don't like Aniseed? No. Well, I mean, Aniseed is like one of those ones where I'm going to say it's a bit of a quiet taste. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind it in things, but it's not something I go, 
Oh, I really like some Annecy. So, I only like it in Sambuca. I was about to say that I don't time I, I, I usually just okay of it is Sambuca. Yeah. Cool. All right, that's all that done. Like a guy I, <laughs> I watched play the stream Tarkov and got absolutely incensed over how people play Scummy, declared hatred for the game and continued to stream it for... Because people are weird, man. That's why. <laughs> people are weird. I hate this game that we just keep on playing it though. I hate it every moment if it makes me feel like there is ants under my skin. Stop playing. Ants under my skin. Stop playing. Oh, right. <laughs> Bugman's glow. Sambuca's not bad. You just, you just get very sticky from drinking it. Um, I like Sambuca. It's weird. I like it because it kind of... It's like... What's the word for it? it no, it kind of like the way it kind of congeals on glasses. It's weird. Oh, it crystallizes. It's why well, it crystallizes, but it also does that weird sort of like... It kind of does a gooey stick. It's like viscous. It's like anisidy. I don't know. Right. I mean, I'm I'm with PT on this one. Um, apricot brandy. This is weird. I know. I just I just like apricot brandy, man. It is just weird. You're, you're. Apricot brandy weirdness. Nice. Is it though? Yeah. Goes down real smooth. That sounds like a sort of drink that was invented for people who don't like drinking. Yeah, uh, you know I'm not a massive drinker. I suppose that works out then. Yep. So That's what I always think about, it. like, yeah, hmm? Oh, what, the whole, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the what's it? They were some damn good stouts, man. <sighs> Clow was a very good brewery. Mm. I do want to go and visit there. Uh, they're, they're based in Manchester, I think. Oh, that's cool. I'd like to go to there and drink beer there. It's supposed to be very nice. Apparently, Manchester's supposed to be one of the best places to drink in the UK, apparently. Got some really good booze in. in... I don't believe it. Hmm? I don't believe it. What, Manchester? Yep, don't believe in it. We don't place. believe in Manchester. Nope. Okay. That's it's not a real place, man. Strange. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't think it's tea. I literally don't know what it is definitely something it basically just tastes like aniseed I don't even know how to describe the flavour of aniseed very aniseedy. 
without using just the words aniseed. Um, I think in the states you've got things like uh, those sweets like red hots and um, like the red ball sweet things. That's aniseed. Quite like uh, licorice. Oh yeah, it's like licorice, isn't it? Is licorice aniseed? I don't sure, have no idea. You would have to probably Google that. Yeah. I reckon it is. Damn pigs in this game. Is licorice aniseed? So I'm looking at the funny thing is they're very different. Licorice and aniseed oh. have a similar taste and fragrance, but they have their own identical. Oh, God, that, hang on, I'm getting murdered. King pigs. Right. What is it with these games and just pigs attacking me continuously? <laughs> right, armor's done. Hands. So apparently they're they're, they're completely different. Oh, they're a different kettle of fish. At least according to the thing I'm reading, but it is the internet, so it could be wrong. Yeah. I mean, right. So this guy's got a glove and a hand because he's got a different arm on him. I'll paint him with one glove, like Michael Jackson. Yeah, so we've got gloves or they just hand people. They're mostly hands because they're Imperial Guard and they can't afford gloves. I guess so. All right. So, next step, I'm going to go for the Bugman's Glow and we're going to get all the faces and the hands and so on and so forth. Uh, there might be a stream tonight, but later, later. Your random thought. Yeah. Just think, take advantage of the released week for Enshrouded.
Right, keep on going with these. Ooh. Mostly for the vault. Enjoy. Like, subscribe. Being Zipal. Do it. And if you want a chance of winning some of these models, you've got plenty of time to win these models. Is it going to be sort of like a part of an ongoing raffle set? Little bad boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Give these things a winning, and then you can see it proudly, I don't know, on top of your computer monitor or attach it to your car. They go dashboard, they can be dashboard mounted. Very versatile. Yeah. And uh, if you want to join up at the top tier of our membership, you can uh, win a date with Ugg. Sorry? Yeah, if somebody joins our top tier membership with £10,000, uh, they win a date with you. I don't know what the date of you. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very busy. Very sunny. <laughs> Not in the pub. Yeah. That's the way it works. Yep. I drink a lot of beer. You get to um buy my rather expensive fruit beers all night. Sadly. We haven't quite sorted out the details of that. <laughs> that tier. You know. Second we have, well, uh, put that on the uh, thing. You know, that's a broadside promise. Travel expenses will be covered by the uh, the winning participant. Safety and, and enjoyment are not guaranteed. The number you're adding more T's and C's to this. It's not happening. <laughs> Uh, it made me laugh though, so, you know. Look at 
Good luck to paint this dude's face. Fool. Maybe we should do a, a, a I'll say a prayer for you, Tia. <laughs> Where every evening we, pro if you sign up for like t a thousand pounds a, a month, we say a prayer for you every night before we go to bed. Yep. That's a broadside promise. <laughs> I'll shut that down quick. Did I though? Did I or did I let it go on too long? <laughs> fun for everyone. Did I though? Or did I just ruin your fun? Ruined my fun. That's the only person I care about is fun to ruin. I mean, I suppose if we did a 10,000 Ten thousand dollar tier where you get to go on a date with me. As long as I keep the ten thousand, maybe. Nope. No, no, no. I'll contre mon cherie. I'm your manager. That is my finder's fee. You're not my manager. I am now. Mm. <laughs> Enough decencies, it's not happening. Right. There you go, look, they're coming along, Zug, look. Yeah, looking really good. Considering the fact we've not got to the point of washing yet. Right, then a bit of Zandra dust. The additional colour of all bedrolls all over the world. Can I use your bedroll, Zug? Uh, um, Zandra dust. Nope, it's Thomas the Tank Engine coloured. Is it actually because it's got Thomas the Tank Engine on it? How many beds do you need? Two. The other one's what? Thundercats. Oh, by the way, the music is completely random. The main quality of this music is that it's free. Everyone likes free music. Oh, Zug's bed rolls. Blimey. Can you imagine yeah. Zug in the guard? Get in the guard, son. Oh, where's my mohair sheep's wool or my... My... Whatever. You're wrong, and we all know I would be a political officer. I would be a commissar. <sighs> hey, wouldn't be rank and file. Don't you need to be able to be able to read to be a commissar? I just need to be able to recite no. the information. 
how would you lead like political doctrine? Shout oh, just remember it. I shall just remember the doctrine. Yep. You're good at remembering things, aren't you? Best bet is anyone questions me, just you know. That sounds a little bit too heretical for my liking. I'd make a great political officer. Did someone say dogmatic? <laughs> oh yeah, I'd have my, my, my trusty adjunct. Oh, this guy is, uh, has no bedroll, for he has only a backpack full of communication equipment. Jesus. Kaifis Kane's friend was Jürgen. That's it. Jürgen? Yep. Are you close to the microphone then? Very. I heard myself there. If you say something, let's see if I can actually make it happen and it will definitely be what it is. Zug's an idiot. Oh, Keep talking while you're talking. Just keep talking. Zug's an happens. idiot. Okay. An absolute festering idiot. From yourself? Yeah. Yeah. So it's that then. It's because I, I put my head really close to the mic. So it's trusty melter gun. He likes to be deafened by me. I oh, know it's not a completely noise cancelling headset, it's an open backed one. Like your dress. Yep. Also, my hearing is absolutely ruined as well, so it probably is quite loud. what happens when you work as an artilleryman for 20 years. It's the lack of ears, you see. Yep. You gotta be, see, it's on the side of the tank. 
They're attached. They're attached with like you know those magnet tank cleaners. Like there's a magnet on the inside and on the outside. That's how the ears are attached. But sometimes they fall off. So you know, if somebody brushes past the tank too close, they just get knocked off. Blimey, blimey free track from YouTube. Not allowed to swear. Going to today. Huh? What time are you going to? I don't know. I want to get washes on these, so like at least another half hour or so. Oh, that one got a. Uh, did I put all bedroll on that one? Oh well, no bedroll for you, sir. No one gets a bedroll in the guard. I forgot to put the bedrolls in some as well. <laughs> Fine. Right. This is where we are. Alright. Now yeah, I'll get in there. Nonsense on this channel. Yeah, I know. Just the whole thing just gets slapped with hundreds of copyrights, and it's all like, no! <sighs> Give up. <laughs> I'll be like, you win, copyright people. Enjoy your money. Right. Yep. They're coming along. Now we need to like jazz them up with the power of washing. Then we'll worry about like doing some little details on them and stuff like that. But I may not get them finished today, but if I don't get them finished today, I'll have to finish them off anyway, because like The corpses don't need bedrolls. So yeah, these guys, because obviously I want this to I want these to go out to you because like we're gonna hold the raffle and then we've got to send them out. So I've got they've got to go like they've got to go a circacious oh, route, haven't they? I did work that out. They don't oh. actually need to come to me. We're not no? Doing the other thing. No, we're not doing the other thing yet. So they don't actually need to come here first. Oh, good point actually. No. Yeah, so, so we've just saved like a week's worth of transit on that. Okay, cool. When we do the other bit, then yeah, they'll come to me and I'll get them shipped that way. Yeah. But until but, then. Yeah, I can do the first one, can't I? Yeah. I'll put like a rocket from my garden and things in it. No, don't ruin the surprise. Oh. And a, and a piece of your hair like your... Um... Well, no, I'm not giving my DNA out. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. My DNA has to be maintained very carefully. Yep. I leave he enough DNA wear... lying around as is. He will probably wear gloves while he's, you know, packing packaging it up. Though. There's no fingerprints and anything. Yeah, there's no skin molecules. <laughs> or if you open up the package and there's just like a lot of white stuff, it's just that's just my skin. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Feed it to your fish or something. Right. <laughs> Uh, what, we, what was I going to wash these things with? Null oil, apart from the faces? Yeah. There we go. Right. All of null and oil, apart from the flesh. Speaking of flesh, there's a... Um... Well, you don't have to, but if I just wrote on Frostbite America, I don't know. It might be difficult. Uh, it's because the the post office in the theme park is woefully awful. It's packing peanuts. How would that be a weekend challenge? Yeah, yeah. Because we got we got 
We don't call it a theme park for nothing. Right. Flakes. Oh man, that would be absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I can do that. Just like gather up like a week's worth of psoriasis in a cup and just put it in. Oh god. No, no one wants that. Especially me. It's... <laughs> it's just like a cup of skin. No, it will be very clean. And yeah, you do have to give us your address because that's the way posted stuff works. I mean, you know, it will be held in the highest confidence, securely, on a piece of paper, possibly here. Right. Oh, I, the other option is I could just like put it in an envelope and write Frostbite America and then hope it turns up. I mean, that'll probably work. It might work. Oh, it is wandering. That's why it's so bad. If it was privately owned, it'd probably be all right. Yeah. If it was privately owned, it would probably, would probably, or it would have closed one or the other. Yep. One down. Get down. I'm using the no new null oil. Apparently, people don't like that. Um. Don't know why. It feels a bit more like um, now I've used like like the the army painter like tone. Yeah. Feels more like that. just throw it into the ocean let the sea decide that it is. <laughs> I mean yeah there's loads of options some more reliable than others I mean if we did throw it into the sea we'd do a video of it proving we threw it into the sea yep um yeah it's weird but anyway let's not worry about it too much Seven. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> Go going shrouded. Looks like I'm gonna have to get really good at the game. Yeah, it's sort of just lying about knowing stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh we jape. We jape. Yeah, we do. Zug of course knows many things, because he's playing for hours. All That's he's cool. doing is playing it. If you had him on Steam, all you'd see is him playing that and Dark Tide. Uh, That's all he does. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm having a little break from Dark Tide because it made me sad. Let's go. That's the thing, it's like Doug does these things, but he does put the time in. He does put an inordinate amount of time in. Whereas I 
I've got a job. <clears throat> well, yeah, so do I. I just don't work very hard on it. <laughs> I'm usually playing this while I'm doing that. Good job, no one watches us. Yep. <laughs> watching the members! Watching the members price float away! I think there we go, we're just like... Throw the bastard in the sea. And so be not the sea. What nah. horrors it holds. It, man, I don't know what it is. It's it is it's that. Weird... What secrets does it hold? Um, Fishmen. Well, it's the reason why Cthulhu lives in the sea, isn't it? I mean, it's like an extra... It's one of those... It's one of those classic fears, I'd imagine. Oh, it's called uh, thalassophobia. It yeah. refers to the fear of ocean or large deep... Fear waters. of the dark! Fear of the dark! It's I have a constant fear of no. someone's always there! It's a fear of the... Fast. Fear of the... Ocean. Oh. Fear of the what? It's it's a fear of the vast emptiness of the ocean and mm -hmm. what lies beneath. So it's not the actual. I'm not scared of water. I'm scared of what's in the water. It's scared of Cthulhu, basically. Basically, yeah. And I think that's a healthy fear. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I don't mind water I can generally like see into. You don't mind a like, glass of water? Nope, I'm alright with glasses of water. Ponds, alright with ponds. But as you can't see into the bottom of the pond. What lurks within? What lurks beneath? A well, frog. I'm, no, I'm, not a frog. Generally okay with that because I'm pretty sure I could, I could kill whatever's in there with my bare hands. Or as if it was like a, a kaffir. Oh, you just have to break his grip. They're very strong, but brittle fingers. <laughs> you just have to break their grip and you're fine. A kappa? What is that? This is a, like a Japanese water spirit, isn't it? A kappa? Yeah, it's a water demon. A <laughs> water demon? That's where it's actually from. I thought it was... Uh... That's Japanese, man. I guarantee you, sir. Oh, yeah, it's the Japanese water demon. Yep. Yeah. See, Frost was right. I was right. You, you want to know why I know that? Because you had to deal with one in your pond? No, because there was a capper in my pond. No, there wasn't a capper in my pond. Ridiculous. No, there was a... Um... <laughs> there was a... There was a... Um... A Japanese Final F or Fighting Fantasy book. Oh yeah, I had that one. And there was cappers in that. Yeah, I remember that one. I've actually managed to collect all of those. Oh right. Yeah, the entire series. I remember those quite fondly. Mm, yeah, I don't. I'm not so fond of them now. Because you were bitten by one. No, because they're the... Uh, I'll tell you after. No, I know why. Oh, yeah. Forget, I know everything about you, Zug. I listen to you as you True. sleep. So you listen to the screaming. I like the screams. They help me sleep. Yeah, I mean, a deep sea... Uh, I mean, the amount of money it makes a deep sea welder. But also, there's a good chance that you'll be taken by Cthulhu. Or oh! Or what is it one of the things? Apparently there's a thing 
that they do, which is deep sea. There was like, you know, one of uh, Simon Whistler's things. Yeah. There's like a channel. It was like some. It was like mad things that we do, and apparently it's like deep sea diving. There's like a, a, a like a, a thing they do where they go into like this this pod and it's pressurized and the people can't talk and and they go under the sea for like they do like week long shifts and they just go under oh. there and do that. I can't oh, remember what it's called and they use it for like when they build construction stuff and they basically like one of them like imploded and stuff like that yep. but it's supposed to be horrific because like you can't talk and stuff can you not no because they pressurize it and they flood it with like they flood it with something so you can't it's like some sort of like it's a different mix of oxygen so it's all pressurized wrong so your vocal cords don't work properly so everyone has to speak using like like digital bo voice boxes oh like the ones if you had like some sort yeah. of throat and... yeah that's yeah. horrific yeah helium yeah yeah you breathe helium yeah everyone's got a squeaky voice no, they can't talk properly. Oh yeah, because that's what it does. It, it pushes their voice into the register. It's like basically, you can't hear. It. They can't understand each other. And apparently, like one like imploded, and like they like it was like had loads of security like vulnerabilities, like loads of like vulnerabilities in like the way it works. Safe as so they're still using them. Oh wow! Because so, you know, sketchy. Yeah. Sketchy. Oh, they've, they've already built them, so they might as well just use them. Yeah, brilliant. It sounds great. Wow. I wouldn't want to be a deep sea welder. No, and and, and your risk of encountering Cthulhu goes up a significant amount as well. Sparks, you see, he doesn't like them. Hmm? The sparks is what Cthulhu doesn't like. No. And also, I've, I've read like stories and stuff, I've watched documentaries about the guys that actually do it, and they're like, oh yeah, you get used to something, just like you feel it whizzing past you, you're like, yep, just not gonna look at that. Well, Cthulhu? Yeah, just whizzes past, you know, on his daily trip to the shops. <laughs> Ancient destructive god of. But yeah, 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 it's just good for you. Just ignore him, he's alright. As long as you don't drill into his head, he's alright. Don't look at him. It sounds absolutely horrific. Gotta say, not not a fan of the idea of doing it. You know, it was bad enough working on the Alaskan crabfisher boats. I uh, wouldn't want to do that again. I find it implausible, man, that you were a crab fisherman. I just, it doesn't seem like, you know, it doesn't seem the sort of thing that you would be able to do, but, you know, I guess truth is stranger than fiction. Yep. Yeah, man. Uh, we all know I was a crab fisherman. Just your adversity to danger and the sea and work. All those three well, yeah. things, they just makes it so improbable. I'd say it's more probable about the sea and the work. Do you even like seafood? Yeah, I like seafood. Quite yeah. A fan of sushi. yeah, I like sushi. It's delicious. I don't think I ever ate sushi before I became vegetarian. And now I'm it's not going to eat any sushi. Well, you never said you were. 
say never, man. No, never say never. But I'm fish full of like microplastics. Yeah, so is everything. Oh, that's true. We're all full of microplastics. Oh, yeah. Apparently we are. Yeah, man, this is why. I... They don't call them microplastics for nothing as well. Apparently they you ingest like them every day. Huh. Get on there. Apparently, um, shower. <laughs> Too difficult for a brain in the jar at this point. Yeah, what do you think he's in a jar now? <laughs> yeah. After the accident, yeah. <laughs> Those picking cranes, man, they, uh, they're pretty heavy. We let's see if we got any model that's dry enough to actually carry on painting. Because they're all kind of a bit. Although I don't know, we're kind of at like the. Where are we doing? It's got a two and a half hour mark in it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to. I may be back later tonight though. Yeah. 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 What are you going to be playing, man? Because I, I, I don't know what you play. Uh, Rogue Trader. <laughs> Rogue Trader. Rogue Trader. <laughs> right, let's get a bit of right club flesh shade down on these beasts. And I think once we've done that. Uh, no, I don't eat fish. Scopalian that eats fish as well? Um, yeah, I've got a name for vegetarians that eat fish. Not vegetarians. Not vegetarians. Fussy. Oh, pescatarian. Oh, yeah, it's the Episcopalian, some sort of church thing. <laughs> Pescatarian? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> They're all weird names. Just, you know, just, just shut up about it. There you go. No one cares about what, what people like or do. No one cares about anything. No one cares. Or I might just uh, stream my, my cleaning of my knife collection. Get the old mineral oil out. Clean the blades. Oil the uh, locks. Scatarian. They don't eat fish. The first Piscatarian church. actually do though as these are like for prizes what i'll do is i will um i will actually put pictures of them on discord because it's not too bad for me to do that i don't and they won't be like my normal level of pretty picture they'll be like better make them look good what the models or like the pictures of course I'm going to make him look good. They're getting there. There we go. Background lighting and everything. No! 
you get like I don't know me holding up with my hand against something a white background right Whew. right so we're at the point now where everything's been washed all I need to do is go and put the layers on layer it up layer it up so that won't take me long never fear people I can whip out this so there we go that's where we are they need to dry out though but I noticed the drill barrel oh always drill your barrels there's the man who never drills his barrels drill more barrels no it's got no oil or no, none oil in that barrel white back there'll be a background of some description reality will be its background no uh, but i'm just gonna go and like do all the layers and whatever edge highlight is going to be on there but unfortunately you know it's 10 models so it takes a little while to paint but yeah so there we go um the they're slowly getting there the the guard but obviously i'm gonna bring out the highlights but there'll be pictures as i get going so and i'll do some like stripes or something on the chain sword yeah and um yeah so thank you thank you thank you um like i say the goal is to get them done by the end of the next i'll get them done in the next couple of days i might just spend a bit of time tonight doing them uh, but sadly, I do need to wander off so yeah. I can say goodbye to you all, and I'll probably see you later in a couple of hours. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to do the outro then because uh, we are sort of ready. So, um, if you have enjoyed this episode, then it'll be great. If episode live stream, it'd be great if you could uh, like, subscribe, read the bell, do all that great stuff. It really does help out the channel. It's most appreciated. If you're a member. And, uh, you know, one of these bad boys will be coming at you fairly soon. If you're lucky to be the lucky winner. What will we win? Don't know. But anyway, so, um, yeah. Um, I'm going to say farewell. If I don't see you before, I will see you next, on Tuesday. And um, that's it, isn't it? Is Zug even there anymore? Yeah, I'm still here. All oh, right, you're still there. Yeah. So, any parting words? Of... No, just you know, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Possibly see you later. Yep. See you later, guys. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.